What is up everybody? Keith Dax here with WKD Construction and welcome to the channel. On today's video, we are here at the back of the garage on the Melton Farm project and we're going to we're going to start running the utilities. We're going to run the uh for the electrical, the conduit for the electrical and the meter base. I know I messed up <laughs> when I was about done editing the whole video last week with the meter base and the uh, rain screen. I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it and then I'll, I'll apologize. I should have done this one before that one, but hey, it, 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 happens, to the, <laughs> it happens to the best of us. But uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how we installed the, uh, some of the conduit, the water line all the way to the road. I think it's, holy, nine, 900 feet to the road where we had to put uh, one inch PEX pipe to the meter base. As you see behind me, we have some of the Borden Batten diamond coat vertical siding installed and it looks, it looks fabulous. I'm, I'm really tickled with it. It really, really does go up pretty easy. Uh, and, and it works, it works really, really well too. I've done a lot of the fiber cement and it's very dusty. It's very, uh, it, I mean, it'd take your breath when you're cutting that stuff. I, I do kind of like this. It's a lot lighter to work with. Uh, it's just easier to cut. You don't, I mean, it, it just all around seems a little bit, of, a little bit easier to work with a wood product versus a uh, fiber cement. The rain screen worked awesome as well. I was, I was totally pleased about the installation of that. I had the representatives come down from Huber. Uh, everything looked great. We were doing everything as we should and uh, they said go ahead go ahead and go with it and do what do what you're doing. So we, we went ahead and installed the siding and uh, yeah so today's video let's let's put in some water and electrical line. Today we are gonna start doing a little uh, ditch witch in here at the Melton Farm project. I went to service rentals in Paris, Tennessee and rented a uh, big rideable trencher because we've got about a thousand feet of water line. We're gonna put a, use a one inch PEX to install here at the house and it's gotta go, well that car's pulling in down there <laughs> on the other side of the fence, all the way up to the back, to the back around the back side of the garage. So it's gonna take a minute to trench, so I wasn't gonna be walking behind one. That's why I rented a rideable one. And while we are trenching, I'm gonna go ahead and trench my ditch for the uh, underground service from the pad mount transformer to, to the meter base while I got it. And we'll go ahead and I got the conduit and everything to, to stick in the hole and uh, have an inspector come by, check it out, and then we will bury it and be good to go. There's the pad mount transformer. We gotta dig all the way around here. And we're gonna do a little uh, modification on our footing. We're gonna have to cut out a big chunk of it so, uh, so we can get the uh, conduit up against the, uh, the house. The underground service will be two feet to the top of the pipe. And then the water line, we will do, I don't know, probably 16, I don't know, probably about two feet probably as well, just to keep it. We don't have a huge frost line, so two feet would be more than, more than ample uh, depth for water here in Tennessee. Like a big ass chainsaw. Fun. Real fun. <laughs> Going 
gonna be a minute. <laughs> got the footing busted out of there so we can get the pipe close to the wall which we've got a slip joint that allows the uh, conduit to move if you know it settles over time it's not going to pull pull out of the meter base so we just slip that joint and of course into a sweep right here and then we will thread a uh, string through every single piece of pipe and then just run it out on top of the ground over there and then once the electric company gets here they can pull the string and pull their their open and then their line through there so we just took a wrench tied it to the end of the string and then you just drop it through the pipe and now we've got a uh, chase through there to where once we get it all glued together we can just the electric company can use that string and pull their rope through there well, I had about a uh, 16, 18 foot little stretch I couldn't ditch which because man, it was full of rocks. So I had to get the back hole. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to chisel it out with the uh, with the back hole, and then I can I can finish the rest of the ditch with the ditch witch. Just never know, man. It was going great, nice soft clay. Or just plain clay, no rocks, and just hit a damn vein of some sort of rock. I don't even know. It don't, it don't even look like sandstone. I don't know. We'll get. <laughs> so we rigged up a, a uh, PEX applicator, I guess you could call it, I don't know, a couple two by, or a two by, a couple clamps, and you saw how we was able to get it off there, because man, you start messing with a 500 foot roll of PEX, that would be a pain in the butt, it was hard enough to do, like, uh, like how we were doing it, but <laughs> it worked. to make our uh, unit sit nice and level and then we are going to fill up. I will put a little dirt up to about somewhere in there right over this right over that that way you don't have so much of a step coming into the garage and kind of a little we'll have to put a little, little dirt over the top of that concrete and stuff as well so but we're about to get air conditioning Hopefully we will have the uh, service release done tomorrow and they'll release that and hopefully have the electric company here Friday or the first of next week. Oh, look at who's here today, getting electricity hooked up. So we, I'm, I'm ready, we, we ready for some AC, let's get it.
Lukey. Oh. Service release inspection has been passed. As you saw, they uh, pulled our wire, got the conduit all buried, got on the little, the little Pedro hoe, my little hoe. And uh, kind of half-assed buried. Finished burying my ditch there, so we'll have to dress it up later on. But now fuller and heating and cooling should be able to show up. They've got the unit in. Don't worry about this. This is this is not done. We are uh, gonna mount that. That's just that's just temporary <laughs> until we get the stone mounted, so we can actually mount the uh, disconnect. So that, that will be all hard mounted once once the stone gets applied. So I didn't explain why we cut the footing out. I cut the footing out because I wanted my conduit. This is Schedule 80 pipe. Anything above grade is Schedule 80 conduit. I wanted that to be straight. A lot of times you see you have to cut your, your flashing out or your brick around it and it looks horrible. So if you pre-plan ahead, everything can be straight and it looks it looks super clean and it, it's just it just a better looking product in the end. We have to have two ground rods, two eight foot ground rods. We got one here and one's kind of, it kind of goes over, it's buried. Well, you can kind of see the top of it right there. And then the slip collar. The slip collar is because once you bury it in the dirt, once you backfill it, this can settle over time. This pipe will settle over time and this slip collar allows the bottom of the pipe to go down and this stay, stay uh, where it's supposed to be. Because over time, if you go to some of the older houses that don't, don't have the slip collar, because they didn't, you, you, you used to not have to have them, this will actually pull. <laughs> I've seen some of them, the threads will be like an inch down from the bottom. So that's, that's a, a good, uh, good fitting. Fuller Heat and Cooling also always does my gas line, all my gas piping. So they got that in and it's been pressured, pressure test, pressure's been on it for, I don't know, four weeks now or something like that. So uh, Bob Barrett and uh, Dustin Faust. They, they always, most of the time, they are my guys that work for me on my jobs, and they always do a wonderful job. And this is our shutoff. It's kind of muddy in there, but uh, that is our main shutoff here behind the house. That way she can shut this off right in here, and it, it shuts the water off to the house versus having to go <laughs> all the way, all the way down to the road to, uh, turn the main off and I do have an additional shut off here inside the house that way it makes it for easier access for Miss Susan she doesn't have to get out and get on get on her knees to to turn the main water off but it's right there so if she goes out of town see your son or sister or whatever she can just simply just turn it off and uh, you know then she doesn't have to worry about it but there's our our manifold system in our tankless water heater it's all ready to go i don't i just got to get the gas line hooked up and uh and the power i just got to put a receptacle in but turned out pretty slick all right y'all that was it that's how we installed the utilities here to the melton farm project we've had a ton of stuff going on here at the project at the melton farm project as you can see behind me Oh, the inside of the garage, we've got it uh, all finished off. We've got some galvanized metal with some uh, plywood up top and a metal ceiling. And we got the garage door installed. Plus, I mean, we got a lot of other stuff going on too. But this is something to look forward to. <laughs> uh, it turned out really, really cool. I I'm tickled with it. I've never done one with a metal panel such as that. That's just regular roofing metal. But uh, I didn't have them uh, run it through the uh, press. It's just flat stock. I did have them hem each side and then we installed it with some uh, spray adhesive or actually some roll on adhesive. And uh, so, yeah, come back and here later on, you're gonna be able to see, see how we did this. And oh, you see that? Look at that. Oh, 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 a little swag from Sun Windows and Doors. So thank you, Sun Windows and Doors for, for the swag.
I got something, Brent got something, and Steve got something. So they, 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 they hooked us up. Once again, I am Keith Dykes. This was, I don't know, running, running utilities <laughs> to the house. Thanks for watching, and as always, got it, coach.